Ooh, so top three. This collab sounds so much fun. Like, I've had a lot of fun putting my choices together. Of course, I got some honorable mentions because, you know, mm, I love my eyeshadow palettes. Literally one of my favorite things to talk about ever. So this collab was started actually by Julia... Julia Adams and then I know Angelica Nequist kind of picked it up and kind of changed it up to just top three eyeshadow categories so uh, Julia Adams was more like top three in every makeup category and then I saw uh, LBD Beauty do this which is Lynette and she added on a couple more categories so I decided to do that so this is so much fun and Beauty and the Frizz was like girl Ashley you need to do this video she sent it to me like last week so so happy to do this top three it's it's kind of like you feel like I kind of mm, I don't know when I watch people do like their makeup or their you know or hip-hop top three hip-hop you know that's how I kind of feel at the moment right here so let's go ahead and jump into the video This is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So like I just mentioned before, we are doing mm, top three in these eyeshadow categories. But let me go ahead and introduce myself before we jump into the video. So if you are new to this channel, welcome. And if you're older but goody, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctor in pharmacy. I love makeup. Mm, so that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. And eyeshadow really is my jam. One of my favorite topics to talk about. That's what you mostly see on this particular channel is eyeshadow. And please just call me Ash or Ashley. So like I just said, I talked about the challenge. I'm going to leave the questions down below. You feel free to participate as well. So much fun. Like I said, I do have some honorable mentions because, honey, I just can't. Can't. Just can't choose three in some of these categories. So the first category is top three neutral eye shadows. So, mm, and when I say these are top three, like I'm not ranking these in like, oh, this is one, two, and three. I'm, I'm just talking about them, okay? So the first palette I want to talk about is Pat McGrath Bronze Ambition, okay? So this palette is just stunningly gorgeous. I'm so upset that it's actually not even available because she needs to bring this back because these are the original or one of the original three six pans that coincide with the first three motherships. So it, it needs to come back. Okay. So this is the color story and it is so neutral and it's really great. And this is actually off of mothership two, which would be sublime. And it is really just a gorgeous palette. Like I pull this palette out when I don't know what to do, but I want to slap something on the eyes. I don't want to think about it, but I know it's going to be gorgeous. Like the shimmers are so gorgeous in here. You have this one shade as the transition. And then I actually just stole this in the outer V to give me definition. And it's just a gorgeous. You have all the bronzes and golds that you want. My favorite uh, shade would be Okay, I'm not going to fool with the card, but I'm just going to show you <laughs> this one right here because it's more of a coppery bronze. And then I also love this shade as well. And this palette, it just never disappoints. So it's just like, it's got to be. Like if, you know, wearing something really loud and vibrant and you know, I mean, my eyeshadow look to be everywhere, I'm pulling out this palette. Don't know what I want to do, but I definitely want to put on eyeshadow. I'm pulling out this palette. You know, it's just such a great palette and it's the right tones and it really complements my skin complexion so well. So I really, really enjoy it. Honey, bring it back. So another palette in this category is actually the Sydney Grace Enduring Love Palette. And this palette is so gorgeous. You do have a couple pops of jewel tones, but overall it is pretty much a neutral palette. And this one is a little bit more on the cool tone side, but this is a cool tone palette that actually works really well. I'm covering my face. This is one that actually works really well with my complexion because my complexion is so warm. So I have to be a little cognizant about the type of cool tones that I wear with my complexion and this is actually the version in deep so some of the transition shades are just a little bit deeper just to cater to the skin tone but the Sydney Grace formula is mm, chef's kiss amazing so good and these shades go on like butter the mattes are like butter 
The shimmers are like butter. I mean, you don't have to work hard. You can just kind of throw something on. And I also enjoy using these mattes with like other shimmer palettes that are just straight up shimmer or just maybe like a couple single shadows. I've had a lot of fun. And the looks you get with it are just so flattering, so effortless, so beautiful, like your eyes just glisten. And I just really enjoy this palette. I'm so glad I was able to get my hands on it, especially in the original packaging. And no doubt that they did like the cardboard for more, you know, more friendly packaging. But to be honest, I like the tin the best, okay? <laughs> Even though I'm, we need to do better about saving the planet. So my next palette would be the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude. So in my life, this is my type of nude palette, okay? I enjoy berry tones. They look very good on my complexion. And these shades just work. If I'm talking about a neutral palette, this is a neutral palette in my complexion, in my category and on my complexion. It looks great even though it's just a little bit more fiery, a little bit more red, of course, with the berries. But it always works. It works with basically anything I'm going to have on. These tones just really work. Work. Yes, some of the things pull a little bit more pinky, but it is a really stunning palette. This palette, she did a great job with. You have a lot of different matte selections. You have like in the berry tone and in the brown slash orangey shades. You have infinite amount of shimmers. One of my favorite shimmers right here is the shade Passion, although it's not very neutral, but it just gives that little pop, you know? You have some golds. You got your rose golds. You have your cranberry shades, your pinks, your bronzes. Um, we do have this shade called Slippery down here that um, I don't know her. We don't get along. I don't even bother her. She's just over there in the corner minding her business. And I just, you know, take a trip around the rest of the palette, basically. But it is such a beautiful palette. And the shimmers are great. Now, that's what I would say with the shimmers. You do have to put a little bit more effort into it compared to, like, Enduring Love or the Pat McGrath. But you get beautiful looks every time. And on uh, my complexion, or if you're deeper than me, like, these palettes, it looks so good. It's just... Mm. So these are type of my neutrals, okay? Now, next up is the category for our top three rainbow or colorful palettes. So um, as far as it goes in my collection, collect as far as it goes in my collection I really don't have a lot of rainbow palettes I just kind of got rainbow palette this year and so the first palette I'm going to talk about is a rainbow palette for sure and it is the blends bunnies cosmetics blends palette baby Mwah. this is amazing like I never felt a need to have a rainbow palette until I saw this and it is rainbow with a small little twist because down at the bottom you do have some neutral shades like this palette it's just really great it's really amazing you have like every color that you can pretty much want to deal with and like I say you have those neutral shades down at the bottom it is fabulous with all those shimmer palettes that have come out but more importantly like it blends like a dream you can layer the mats on top of each other you're not going to have to worry about it getting muddy you can see the definitions of colors and it's just like the uh, color in there for every type of occasion you have some more pastels you have your, like your hot pinks you got your lime greens your deep greens your purples like i said and then you even have those subtle little pops that they've worked in very well for like you doing a transition and even down at the bottom row with your black your white and your gray and dark brown so I enjoy this palette so well, so much, and it was pretty affordable. I think it was like $30 or $40. I talk about all the time, like, I was able to use my American Express credit card points to purchase this palette because they took, like, Amazon Pay, and, you know, like, those points are connected if you have that card on your profile. But this is just, like, a really great palette, so I don't see the need to have, like, any more rainbow palettes in my collection. And then to piggyback off of it, the next one would be definitely the Blends Money surge palette because this one is mm, it's great so this is the grungy rainbow sister and i love her she is so gorgeous and it's grungy you got some shimmers in it now you also have some pop with jewel tones in it so it's just like everything you want you got your pastel shades and your neon shades but don't be intimidated by those pastels and the neons they are there for like inner corner pops on your lid to help blend out some of the deeper darker murkier shades and some of the shade selections are just so unique like this particular quad right up in here like i live for it this blue shade rush chills 
and the shade Hint and Linker. They're just kind of like unlike some mattes that I have in my collection. So, you know, it has like that blue denim with the murk. It's just really, really great. The purples are great. The reds, the burgundies. You have literally almost everything you need pretty much in this palette. And the shimmers are really nice as well. They are very foiled. They're very metallic. So this palette is fabulous. They're coming out with something very soon or next week. I'm like, damn, my wallet cannot get a rest because I'm just like, oh, what you finna have? And I actually got this palette. Oh, I actually got this one with my points as well, too. So hmm, winning. So my next palette in the colorful category is a palette that I fell in love with last year. And it is actually the Wahala 2 palette by Juvia's Place. And it had been a while since they had did some like larger palettes palettes and this is like one of the largest palettes they've done as far as many shades um but it's definitely colorful it's really much more blue purple and green turquoise focus which I do like those are like the colorful shades that I usually gravitate to especially like those turquoises um and then you do have some purples and oranges and pinks you have some silvers you actually have two duochromes in this palette you have the shade money up here and in the shade fake up here no over here <laughs> that it are duochromes and the quality on it is so nice we did not know that they were going to put duochromes in it it was just like literally one of those things it's like you start swatching you're like oh my we got duochromes okay you do have some pressed glitters in this palette so that does kind of like bring it down like pressed glitters were like everybody's rage last year I don't know why can't really stand them but they're all right but you have some really nice matte choices some really nice shimmer choices and overall it's just like it's a solid palette for category three which is the monochromatic category which is actually like one of my favorite uh categories i definitely have an honorable mention in this palette oh wait i pulled out one of the wrong palettes okay I got it right now. All right. So the first palette I'm going to talk about in this category is the Smoke Show palette. And this is by ColourPop. I think this palette is actually called Blowing Smoke now. So I have the original version of this palette. And it is black and gray. Like when they started coming out with their monochromatic series, I just wanted a black and gray one. Of course, I wanted the blue. Of course, I wanted the green and all of that. And the purple one, it's my pleasure, is bomb too. But I was just like, if they could do a black one, that would be bomb. So this is so beautiful. You have so many different variations. You can get really nice smoky eye looks. And it's just like this palette around this particular time is just like, the best because these are when you're really going to be wearing these dark smoky kind of fun holiday party looks the shimmers are very buttery very smooth this is actually really great quality the mats are smooth um it, it's really just a really great quality palette and i really enjoy it in my collection so it definitely just had to be like as far as monochromatic like you don't have too many companies doing monochromatic like black i know natasha just gave us like the mini zen on but Honey, this smoke show with these pewter silvers and these shimmers are just everything. I love it so much. Speaking of Natasha Denona, I would say the bronze palette. Now, this palette is gorgeous. The mattes are gorgeous. I actually just wore this the other day and I had such a good time playing with it. It is just so beautiful. You um, have like a little pop of um, purple and you have the shape deep dive that you can definitely deepen the crease with. So it's just like it takes a different approach versus just having like that standard brown. But you have so many bronzy gold shades to choose from it's like your options are endless then the mattes are nice and creamy you got some you got some deep fiery tone mattes and you got your mustards you have your medium tone mattes so I really enjoy that and of course the shade high degree so beautiful and it looks really great on my complexion it just pops the shade true copper true bronze is really pretty i really love the shade alloy alloy in the middle is just like my jam and then the shade bliss down below is a little bit more dual chromey in nature i mean you just have some really solid shades in this particular palette and it is it's monochromatic and i feel like it's one of the best in my collection for sure now you know i love green eyeshadow and these monochromatic palettes like honestly if i could just put all of them in this category they will all be here but 
you know, we do have an honorable mention, but it, this is one of the sweet shops by BH Cosmetics and the sweet shops is upside down. The sweet shops are just like bomb.com. Like, whoo, they did their thing with this. And this is the pistachio because like I said, I love green eyeshadow. And, okay. Well, at least it didn't break. All right. Here we go. Let's try this again. So, <laughs> this is the pistachio palette. So beautiful. And you're literally from like, you know, the shimmers on the top. You're going from lightest to dark. The mattes on the bottom are going from lightest to dark. But the shimmers in here are just like the most amazing quality. The mattes are an amazing quality. And this shimmer right here, this shade is called Sweet Life. It's really just so amazing. Like, I don't really have anything like this in my collection. This one is very, it's uh, smooth, but it has a lot of glitter to it. It has a lot of high shine to it. This one is more of a metallic versus a shimmer. Very great. I mean, and you just have so many options. I feel like it, it just because you're doing a green look with this particular palette doesn't mean you're going to get the same green look all the time. You know what I mean? Versus... Every once in a while with Natasha, I feel like I'm getting the same look every time, even though it's abundance of shades in here compared to this one. So this one, you're definitely getting like monochromatic, but you're getting a different type of look every single time. And then uh, this palette right here, I love it so much. And it is just so fun. And this is the Camo Glam Palette by The Glam Shop. Y'all know I love me some Glam Shop. And this is green, but it's more khaki. It's more muted. So this is probably for the green look lover who is doesn't want to be so out there and do you see this it's so gorgeous and you get fabulous shades like these two shades are in the middle are actually marble shades you get like some of the turbo shades you're getting the mattes i would say that like a couple of the mattes are just a little bit too close in nature for me like this one and this one like they have different inches of colors but mm, or really like this one and this one, that was, those two, they really do just kind of pull similar. But overall, it's a really great quality palette. You're getting like stuff that you would get as a single eyeshadow mixed in with the palette. It is so solid and I love it. This is probably like one of my favorite uh, collections from the Glam Shop. I know it's my most used and I, I love it so much. I, honey, from my cold dead hands, you cannot, cannot try it. Mm -mm, nope. Okay. So the next category is the small or the mini palette, basically. And I have some great choices in here. So first up, this one, I'm sorry, it's unavailable, but this is the Kaleido Sci-Fi Green. This palette is just gorgeous. It's so stunning. It could actually go into the monochromatic palette category also. Um, boop, yes and no, because it does have that black and then more gold and this mustardy shade but this palette is such a great quality like the color scheme is gorgeous if you're into greens the packaging is fire because it's kaleidos like could you expect anything <laughs> less from kaleidos and it's just really really gorgeous i have a lot of fun playing with it i would say that the two matte shades are very similar. It's like, oh, Jesus, y'all kill me when y'all do this. But it's like, in theory, it looks great. But when you put it on the eyes, it's like, it's the same. So what are we doing here? But overall, I really, really love this palette. It is really, really gorgeous. And I have a lot of fun playing with it. I need to play with it more, but you know. <sighs> It is what it is. <laughs> so the next one I have is from Odin's Eye and it's the herb. This one, shit, <laughs> a lot of green stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> this one is a little green, but mercury, murky, has a little bit of burgundy. We have this like pop of, it's kind of like a glitter, but it's not a glitter. So this is actually, that's what this shade looks like. So it looks very glittery, but it's more metallic-y. And their formula is so great. So what does it for me is just kind of like this split pan right here. It's so different, unique. You don't see stuff like that really, but it's very wet and textured, like very high metallic shadows. And the color scoring is just gorgeous. 
and the formula is wonderful as well. I would say that the formula for these metallics can be somewhat of a learning curve, you know, just got to make sure you use the right brush or use your finger to get that shine, you know, so you're not upset like, oh, it swatches amazing, but it looks like <laughs> oh, your eyes. But so unique, so good, and definitely a little mini palette. So I don't have mini palette, mini palettes. Um, but then, you know, we can kind of quad as a mini palette. And for sure, we're going to go with, you know, one of my favorite quads by Pat McGrath Labs, which is the Nocturnal Nirvana one. And this is like one of the first quads that she ever did in her collection. So it's really great. And I love it because... Look at that color story. I mean, it's gorgeous. Like, you know, you have this beautiful green that is a multi-chrome right here. And then you got this Blitz Blue or Blitz M. I don't know. Blitz Aquamarine, I think that's what it's called. I actually don't even think I have the card to this palette. And or VR You got a Blitz Purple. This purple, is it drying that only? There we go. I think the purple is good, but the purple is not as good in this particular palette. Ooh, I'll get my green in there. Wonderful. But nonetheless, <laughs> I'll clean that out later. It is just such a great palette. And it's kind of like unlike anything that she really has in her color story. It's like um, all of my Pat McGrath side notes, they are still working really well, even though some of them are getting older um they are still working really well i'm not finding really much of issue with it at this point I, I decided i was like i will be keeping them all because some of the stuff is just discontinued and you know you know at maybe after a while after a couple more years i won't be using the stuff but i will definitely be keeping it around you know to reference in my collection and then we have the venus and floors so this is so pretty and this is the voyeuristic vixen so this is the honorable mention and baby honey 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 can we get it open there we go <laughs> this one came out with the divine rose blush collection and it has this beautiful like super shimmery buttery duochrome in there and it is really amazing like so this one and the mattes are really nice well the one matte is a creamy matte but I like how it has a little purple hue to it um you do have these beautiful champagne shades they are kind of close but this one has a little bit more shine and sparkle to it where this is one is more of just a regular standard metallic shade and it's just overall a really beautiful quad I think this is like one of the best quads that she has done so you should definitely pick it up so next so we have affordable palettes and I actually quite have had like a lot to choose from in this category um they're really kind of like from a couple brands but I I, I kind of got it narrowed down to you know the best three so this palette is a little bit older and it is kind of performing a little bit older but I still like <laughs> I gotta keep it and it's the good sport palette by ColourPop like honey y'all just bring it back reformulate it so I can buy me a new one but it still does work well but I think the mattes are just kind of getting a little <laughs> but the color story of this is just amazing like every once in a while like ColourPop puts out a lot of stuff and their stuff is generally good but you know it's like once or twice a year they give you the palette that is just like mm, like amazing and that was this palette I think this palette is from like 2018 yeah I think this is from 2018 so it is really really beautiful I really even like this uh shade that's up here called rookie is a beautiful um metallic rose gold with blue like aqua marine reflex you have the grungy roll down at the bottom you know I'm loving the greens I love this champagne shade I've worn it quite often too just all across the lid you have beautiful matte situations beautiful crease colors for my complexion like the shade high hopes up here the shade hooky burgundies a pop of yellow it's it's stunning another palette that is gorgeous it's like on the market sometimes it's off the market but the tribe by Juvia's place uh of course this one's more green focused but you have just some beautiful color story in here I feel like this is one of the first nine palettes where they actually told a complete color story versus just kind of putting 
stuff everywhere, you know, where it confused a lot of people. So this was very cohesive. You had the oranges, the bronzes, and as you can see, this middle bronze shade is my shade of shades. It is a little bit more of a duochrome shade, and it's just really gorgeous on the eyes. I also love the shade that is right here called Coral, and it has that beautiful shift as well. I probably need to stop dipping my fingers in the, my palette at this point because <laughs> you got turquoises, you got the grungy, like baby poop brown green down at the bottom. So you got the neons. I mean, it's just, mm, it's, it's a good one. And yeah, like I really enjoy it. This one right here is the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast. Like, ugh fire they did the thing when they came out with this last year do you see this super affordable and the quality is so great i think the only shade that i wasn't very thrilled about was the shade um over easy and the shade kind of like pink salt the shimmers mm, high quality the rest of the mattes are great nice and pigmented easy to blend out and it's just a super cute colorful it's neutral, it's green, but it still has a lot of neutral vibes to it where like if you're into green, you're not like overly like green or if you're like not into green, it's still like some good options where you can kind of just dip your toe in. So, so good. Well, for category number six in the high-end luxury space. So basically like all my high-end luxury palettes are by one or two brands. It's either Natasha Denona or <laughs> Pat McGrath. So... Um, obviously it's going to be kind of a lot and I could have just kept going because I have so many of the Pat McGrath and Natasha, um, Denona palettes, but I, I, I kept it at three. It was hard to do, but the first one I'm going to go in with is Mothership 4. This one is so beautiful. It has those super high metallics in here, but you know, these metallics, they blend out so well as mattes. It's like, it's a crying shame. I need her to do another palette in this particular <laughs> format. And this is the one like, you know, this one was limited edition and she just had to bring it back because the hype was real over it. And it was great reason. Like you have beautiful jewel tone shades. You got some cool tones. You have some fiery tones. You have some more neutral tones. And I love this palette. Like every time I pull out this palette, I just feel so inspired. It's great. I don't need a mat or I could pull in a mat. It, it just works so well. And you have this beautiful blue at the end that's like metallic. I mean, the palette is just done so well. It doesn't. Mm, I love it. So. Oh, it still smells good. <laughs> I was like. Still smells like regular makeup, <laughs> but I love it. This palette actually came out at the end of 2018, no, end of 2017 going into 18. Cause I remember the day I, I got it. It was like February 2nd, 2018. We'll talk about another, well, I definitely remember that day cause something happened to me in that day. Um, now we have Divine Rose 2. Ooh, so this is the 2020 drop and this is Mothership uh, 8 and she's gorgeous. This could have easily gone in my little neutral category too because this is my neutrals. You know, of course, you got the pop of pink, but hot pink and but oh, the burgundy shades, the gold tones, the VR section terrestrial. She's probably my most used mothership. You got Eleganza, the only shade, and it's so unfortunate because this shade is actually really beautiful right here, but I feel like I'm not the only person. This shade kind of gets hard pan. Um, I can't remember the name of the shade right now, but it's such a beautiful palette. You have like the bronzes. Of course, you got that yellow gold, but I do like to pop that in the inner corner, but Overall, I love this palette and I was fortunate enough to get it in the rose gold packaging. And then I pulled out my Natasha Denona Trio Comb. I love this palette. It's so cute. And this is like some pastels that just work well with my skin complexion. Like it's so good. It's grungy. It's beautiful. The mattes are so creamy. And then you have these beautiful little dual, whatever, trio chrome, multi-chromes, whatever you want to say in the middle. So yeah, you only have three, but you have three great kind of color stories. And then, but the thing about it is it works so well with the other shades. So you definitely 
definitely can mix and match. I have a video where I'm mixing and matching and not just going down the rows of the palette. But of course, the green row is a row that calls to me the most. I love the shade Color Flip, but I actually also love the shade Kinetic. And the purple hues just play really nicely. I even get a ton of looks out of this palette. Like, so it, you're just willing to like break out of the individual rows. Like, this palette is a lot, a lot of fun. And it's very different and unique across the Natasha Denona, you know, color story or lineup where a lot of stuff could be neutral or it could be very monochromatic or, you know, so I love it. Okay, so now for a time for the two categories that I added in and I got this from Lynette's um, channel and she goes by LDB Beauty. So let me make some space. Oh, Jesus, I got palettes all around me. Only thing, I love these videos, but putting all this mess back is like, <sighs> So the next category would be top three indie palettes. Yes, it's more than three. I got an honorable mention. Okay. So my honorable mention would be the Shroud Cosmetics, the It's Freaking Bats palette. There you go. And this is what Butte Bean and Shroud, whoo, it was a mess getting this palette, but I'm so happy I got this palette. Ooh, you guys know. So the color story is just unlike anything I have in my collection. It's green, it's turquoise, it's lime green, and purple, and burgundy at the same time. So I love it. The shade Sam in the middle is like mm, my shade. I love the shimmers are great. I didn't have any problem with the shimmers. Now, um, I know Lynette's saying she has hard pan. I don't even think this is hard pan. I think it's just like a little clump of eyeshadow together right there. But the color story is just so unique. I love it. Like these periwinkles, the... Every, I just look at this palette and it just brings me joy. It's just like, yes, use me. And it's over here like, use me now. All these palettes on my desk are like, use me now at <laughs> this point. But I love it. It's so gorgeous and I just can't deny it. Like, it's just so refreshing. The color story is just so interesting. They did a great job on it. The formula is pretty good. This is the first time I've really, really tried Shroud. So I like the formula. I don't feel like it's the best formula, but, but I like it a lot. And then, I, of course, I had to put in the Alien Cosmetics All I Ever Wanted palette because I have been enjoying these shimmer palettes and this, this is just like, it has everything in it and it's just great. You put this with like my Blends Bunny Surge or the Blends Bunny Blends and baby, the look is coming out great. You have so many standout shades, so many beautiful colors and I love super sparkly super sparkly shadows like or high foiled metallics i love that i mean i got the danessa myrits light work palette on my eyes down and i'll list everything down below what's on my face today but hmm honey you just you just can't get no better you know what i mean you just can't and then I have the Codeine palette honey Codeine she's a vibe she's grungy she is beautiful <sighs> And the shimmers, the shimmers in here are just so buttery, so smooth. And these are really more multichromes. Well, two are multichromes. The other ones are just like more high metallic shimmers, but ACI 27 and 32 are multichromes. I've talked about this palette a lot. I love this palette. You get two really bold pops of mattes in this palette. And every time I pull it out, I just have so much fun. I'm like, yes, let me play in this palette. And the real oldie but goodie is the color Rain, Safari Rain. Like, oh, this palette is gorgeous. You can see I have a lot. I'm like, oh, Lord, I got a lot of the same colors. So these green, terracotta, turquoise. They, I, I just got a lot of these color stories in my collection. It's like between that and the berry, berry palettes, I have a lot. <laughs> and so, but it's really gorgeous of course like color rain's formula is just like mm, chef's kiss i know they've been messing around with it like like the juicy boost was like mm, just okay but i did just order like the botanical garden one with um that doodles by bunny created and i can't wait to play with it i hope it's great quality like this one but this palette is so beautiful it's neutral it pops of color it, it's just it's really really good and it's really special i know a lot of people are kind of like mad that they did not get their hands on this palette so 
So that is the indie realm. And then Lynette came up with the category of collaboration. And that was a fabulous idea because I have some great collabs in here. So, hmm. so for my first stuff, I would say Miss Jackie. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Ooh, yes, Jackie, Ina, and ABH. Everybody knows she killed it. Okay, honey. People was like, not really checking for ABH. Well, they were. They put out a lot of stuff that year. So we kind of were checking. But this one right here. She mm, she did it for ABH, okay? This palette is stinking gorgeous. It looks great on every single skin complexion. It is made with the pigment for the woman who got the melanin. And every time I put it on myself, and when I use it on my friends, when they want me to do my makeup, nobody is complaining. The palette is gorgeous. The mattes are gorgeous. Like everything about this palette is just beautiful. You do have like some really high foil shimmers in here. You got your pinks and your purples. You got your little few cool tones, but the cool tones are done right, the right way for women of color. It's just such a comprehensive palette. The packaging is gorgeous. The quality is amazing, better than some of the other ABH quality. Like she demanded excellence when she made this palette. And it you it's definitely one of the best collabs in my collection for certain. Another one that I love so much is the Club Nebula by Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist. Like she gave it her all when she did this one too. And it is gorgeous. Like, come on. Do you see this? Like... You got the beautiful mattes, you got neutrals, you have your pops of colors, it's murky, it's grungy, it's bright, you can do neutral. I mean, you got shimmers, you got duochromes, you got toppers. The packaging's fabulous because it's Kaleidos, the quality is amazing because it's Kaleidos. So, well, I mean, definitely a favorite of 2021. Two more favorites of 2021. The Legendary Diverse, the collaboration with Odin's Eye. So I picked up two of those palettes. I've talked about these palettes a lot on my channel. You know, I love the Nets Make a Corner palette and I love the Fancy Face. Like, the, it, it is a collab of collabs, honey. Like, this could not go not mentioned on my channel as far as top three. The Giant Wolves, I mean, that color story is amazing. Very murky, just great great complete color stories in here you got a multi-chrome in here just mm, favorites of the year like I, I love these palettes miss tina with our tropical excursion to jamaica do you see this this also has a multi-chrome like this shade up here star apple like i love it it kind of reminds me of one of the shades in the kaleidos palette so if you, these two up here so if you didn't didn't get a chance to get that palette. You were kind of lusty enough in those couple of shades. This this palette was, they were affordable. You you could get, a, could you get a discount? No, but then they did have a Black Friday sale. It's, it's great. Mm, I love it. Star Wars. Like, <laughs> I'm not a Star Wars fan, but we know this was the collab of collabs also. Pat McGrath times Star Wars. I can't wait to see how that Bridgerton one is going to be, but... Oh, and, and I finally watched Bridgerton. It's good. I like it. So this one right here, it was two palettes. It was actually, it was two palettes plus like some lip stuff plus the re-release of Decadence in Star Wars packaging. I didn't feel the need to buy, rebuy that one. But this one right here is the Galactic Gold. So some of the stuff are repeat shades, but the color stories are gorgeous. I mean, it was a great collab. And a lot of people were so upset that they could not get their hands on these color stories or these palettes. So I think she wasn't able to use the licensing for Star Wars, but she did give us these six shades, or actually 12 when you include this palette, um, in her Celestial um, Divinity palette from last year holiday. But so gorgeous, just like the prettiest color stories ever. And then this one actually is um, has one matte in it, unlike the other one. And this is the Dark Galaxy. And it is gorgeous. I mean, if you were able to get your hands on Star Wars, you are just very lucky because I heard it was a mess. I didn't have any problem, but I heard it was a mess. <laughs> and, you know, like with Star Wars, people who don't even like makeup, if it's anything Star Wars, they're getting their hands on it. But... This collection was super solid, super great, super beautiful. 
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this so much. My battery is so low, so I must run. Leave me a comment down below on how you like my top three choices with my honorable mentions. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video. It should be very soon. And last but not least, but please subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And let's hit it with the chair dance before this camera dies. Hey, chair dance. Hey, 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 chair dance. Mm, mm, chair dance. See y'all later. Bye.